sneaking it best tonight. Well, back, yes. We're doing some more open shot, but this time we're in Puppy Linux, yes. I'm using Puppy on a stick. So, yeah, let's get going. But first, if you're going to do this on Pup, you do need some stuff. So we need to go to Setup, Setup Puppy, and the Puppy Package Manager. Now, you need to install OpenShot. You really should have Python as well. Uh, there's two main ones you need, and you will need the Blender 2.56a beta. Now, it's all here in the Puppy Package Manager, then you're good to go, really. You need Blender, basically, to do the animated titles. So, yeah, once you've got all them, you can get started and get a game with OpenShot. Now, I've not got the correct video driver on this stick, because I use it on different machines. So, if you see some white patches somewhere on the video, that's the reason why, OK? So, we're going to go along. And we're going to go up to open shot, open him up. There we go. Looks the same as any other distribution. Usual stuff up the top there. No problem at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new title. Okay. So we'll click new title. Right. We're just going to keep it quick and simple. So I'm not going to do too much different here. So we're just going to keep it a bar. Yeah, I think we will. And they want to create that new title. So we'll click on create new title. And you have to name it. I'm just going to like put one on the end. Makes it a lot easier for everybody concerned. Now, this is where you enter your text that you want on that bar, okay? So I'll put open shot there. Put a T on it, of course. And the title, we'll put on the second title. Yeah, we'll put video editor, I think we'll put. So video editor. There you go. And basically all you do, if you're happy with that, you go along and click apply. And there we are. But what's actually happened here, I've never actually used this one before, the second text bar has come on the top and the first on the bottom. Now I'm not really too happy about that, so I'm going to edit the text. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to copy that. Okay, so I'll click on copy. I'm going to get rid of video editor. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste the open shot in there again. So click paste. If you're happy with it, just go along, click apply, and you're ready to go. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, it does. So font pro properties, there's not as many fonts in the Puppy Linux repos, but I've just not installed all the extra ones, so they're all there. I've just not installed them on the stick, really. But that one's good for me. Okay, so that's all done. Now you can use the advanced editor, which will take you to Inkscape. So you can actually do some color editing and stuff like that. So yeah, super cool, duper cool. Click apply, you're all done. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? So if you want to look at that, just drag it down to your title bar. I'm just going to put it in track 2 for now, because it's just a demonstration. You really need to download it and play with it yourself, really. So what we're going to do, we're going to change that so it makes it bigger. So I'll get more frames in. And we do, click play. So we'll play, there it goes. Open shot. That's pretty plain and vanilla at the moment, isn't it? All it is is the basic title. Now, we can play with that. Yes, we can. No, we can really play with it. So I'll go back to the beginning now, seek to the beginning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to right click there and I'm going to go to Fade, it's one of the video animations that are all in the bar, and we'll go turn to Fade In and Out Slow. So we click there and that should click that option for us. Now you want to look at that again, click Play, here you go, look, fades in and out. As you can see, it's a bit jittery, but that's because I've not got the correct video driver, as I said earlier. But apart from that, it works hunky dory, especially when you're doing it anyway. So that's all right. So anyway, we know that bit work, okay? So we'll go to title again. We're going to make one more. I'll click new again. This time though, well, we'll use something a bit different. Shall we use uh, bubbles one? Now again, you need to create that new title. So I'm going to click two on the end of that one and click OK. Right now we do as we did before. So you actually put in these text bars whatever you want to put in. So I'm going to put in test. Is this test? No test video. That'll do. Yes, yeah, on that. Well, so also put in a bar. Um, I know, I know, yeah, that, really. In Puppy Linux, yay! So you types it all out. If you're happy with that, you just go down as you did before, click apply, there you are. Go to your font properties, so I'll do that again, click OK, looks OK to me, and apply. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drag that down, right that little thing there. I'll rewind the track. Re -re -re rewind the track. Re -de 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 -de. Anyway, we'll do the fade in as well on that one. The same effect, but we'll do it. Should we do it fast this time? Yes, I think we'll go fade in and out fast. Now you want to view it, don't you? So what do you do? Yeah, click play. Here we go. So we go, we'll click play. Yeah, scroll along. We're fading the slow fading on that one. And it should start fading out now. That's that track ending. 
and it comes the next one, a faster one, and it starts fading out there. And that's your two titles. Now what I'm going to do in a second is render all that, okay? But then, then I'll make another video and chuck it on the end, but you'll see that in a minute, won't you? Yeah, of course we will, yeah. Stuff you can import files as well if you've already got stuff you want to put in. You've got loads of transitions here you can use as well. I might do another video on that in the next week or two. See how much time I've got really. There's loads of transitions included, right? Loads included. Oh yeah. No, really included. Video and audio. Some are fun, some are not worth using, but it's like that in all the video editors you find. There's some that are really effective and some that just don't suit. But there is plenty in here for you to play with. Yes there is. Oh yeah. Nice. So anyway, that's that. What I'm going to go and do now is go and render it, and then come back and you'll see me in a couple of minutes. Sneaking it's going away. See you in a little while. Hey, sneaking it's back. So it's all been rendered. I'm ready to play a bit more of Open Shot. Now, before you ask, why couldn't you let us show us your rendering it, Sneaky? Well, I have done in this bit. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry. So we go back. Open, open shot once more into the fray, as they say. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to add our files we've just done. Okay. So if I go down here, you'll see open MP4, because I've rendered it into MP4. We click add, and that's that little file. Okay. Now, I'm also going to add some animated titles that I made the other day. Some just new ones, just playing around. Really basic ones, there's no colour or anything in it. The same ones that I normally use on my videos anyway. Because the, the more complicated you make them, the bigger the file, as you would know. So we're going to drag him down there. And that's the one we just made and rendered. And we're going to play it. So that's in MP4, so it goes... That looks so cokey to me. By the way, as I said before, don't worry about the white box on the side. It's because of my graphics driver on this sticky here. If you install Puppet Linux correctly with the correct driver for one machine, you won't have this problem. All right? So, I'll go back to the beginning, <clears throat> move him along just a little bit, and what I'm going to do basically is move down the animated title, and we're going to put it all together. We want to be together. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a cough. We'll move him along, and move him along, and move him along, and move him along a bit more. That's it. They're all ready to go together. Okay. We click play to make sure we're happy with it. So, off we go. As you can see... Going through nicely, lovely, fading in and out with little bits I put in, and it fades into our one we made with the bar and then the bubbles. There you go. Comes in at around about 20 seconds, I would say. You can make them as short and as long as you like. It is up to you. It's your video. Yes, it is. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm quite happy with that. So, it's for demonstration purposes. What we're going to do now? We're going to render it. Oh, yeah. So, you click the red button, right? Just like so, because we're going to export it or render it, whatever you want to call it. This little folder comes up. <clears throat> now, rename the project, because if you've got two default projects, obviously one's going to get deleted. So we're going to name that, which is what I'll name that, OSP22, just at the top of my head. Now, this will be an MP4. <clears throat> and it gets saved to root in, puppy. Now, you can have lots of profiles. You can do it, in, you can do it to Blu-ray, by the way. DVD, devices like your phones, iPads and stuff, and web. Now, I'm going to upload to the tube or Flickr. So I'm just going to go to web, go down to the bottom, YouTube HD, so we did all the way down the bottom. Well, they get a Vimo and Wikipedia and ordinary stuff here as well, ordinary YouTube. You can change every setting you want to in advance, but just for demonstration purposes, all I'm doing is just doing the presets here for you. You can actually upload them from here too. You haven't even got to go out of here. There's an option to upload your videos straight to the tube, or what's the other one? It's, oh, I'm not sure what the other one it uploads to. It might be Vimo, but it's only two at the moment, okay? So, it's rendering or exporting, rendering or exporting. It doesn't take too long, really. It's a bit slower at the moment on this machine because I'm recording it at the same time, okay? That's the only reason, and it's on a stick. I think the USB stick is a 2. I, did, well, I can't remember, actually, to be honest with you. So, anyway, there we go. Export is complete. So, we can click OK, and we can actually come out of the program now if we so wish to do so, which we do, really, don't we? Click the X. Now, normally... Get this box up to close without saving or save. Normally you would save it just in case you've made a mistake. But if you haven't, no big deal, you know? But it's up to you what you want to do. I always always save it if you've not used the program too much. Now there you can see the little file we just made. Nice, super duper. 
does what it says on the tin. What more can I say? I'll do another video in a couple of days, and we'll see how we get along, okay? So, hope you all enjoyed that. Sneaky links out. See you later. Bye-bye.